hello and welcome back to my channel i am so glad to see you here as always today has been a hard difficult long day i went with my oldest daughter to the hospital she had to have a colonoscopy done but i had ate breakfast i'll just say that right up front <laughs> and right after that i leave go get her, go to the hospital. And we weren't there not even an hour. And they were getting her ready, doing the IV and having her change her clothes, things like that. I'm sitting there and I am so tired that I just knew I can just go to sleep. There was a few times I was sitting there and I closed my eyes and then, or just passed, I hope you've seen it. I'm just sitting there and I close my eyes and I had to open them because I felt my head going back. That's not me. I've never been like that. <laughs> then I started getting nauseous, then shaky, and then I started realizing that my sugar was dropping. I'm a hypoglycemic. I asked the nurse, how long it, was it going to be before my daughter was taken back? She said about 30 minutes. So I told my daughter, I've got to go. I have to go get something to put in my system or I'm going to pass out. So I leave her room and I go to the elevator and I had to prop myself with my arm against the door and I closed my eyes. I asked my guides for help and I was breathing in slowly, breathing out slowly. And I was just trying to cope with it, if you want to call it that. And I'm sitting there constantly pushing the button. Then I go to the cafe. The cafe has changed, changed since I worked there. Subway was the only thing there. And I asked if they were open. They said not until 11. And it was 10-ish. And I'm like, great. I said, where is a machine that has orange juice? I needed a protein like cheese or, or peanut butter. So he said, you have to go where the coffee shop is. I'm like, where's that? And he goes, you go all the way down here and all the way down there. And I'm like, oh, well, crap. So I start walking and I'm trying to breathe and trying to, you know, deal with this and I make it. All they had was apple juice. So I chugged it, half of it, and then I got a blueberry muffin and I ate a little bit of it. And then I, I could feel myself getting a little better, but I got a Dr. Pepper also. I fell on the floor and apparently put a hole in it somewhere and it started spewing everywhere. So I threw that in the trash. I had to go get another Dr. Pepper and I didn't drink all of that. And I guess that was somebody saying, you don't need that Dr. Pepper, but I, I didn't listen. I go back up to her room and I'm sitting there and I'm still just tired. And so they took her back and I'm like, I need to keep myself busy. I've got to do something. And then I'm like, oh, I'll do my color by numbers. So I did. I finished one of them, kept myself busy, and uh, maybe an hour later she came back. And I'm still just, oh my gosh, I just wanted to go to sleep. I kind of wanted to just lay my head over on her bed and just go to sleep. It wasn't too long after she came back in the room that we were able to leave. And I'm, I don't have an appetite. I do want to do an update. My, my, where I had my teeth pulled bled clear up to the time I went to bed, which is not normal. And today, a little bit off and on, I can taste like some blood has came down. I forgot twice that my teeth aren't there and bit down on food and I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> I, don't, I hope I don't get dry socket. But anyway, I went and got my daughter some food because she hadn't ate in over 24 hours. And I wasn't hungry, I didn't get myself anything. I got a soda again. I had to stop by Marshall's. I had to get conditioner and I saw a cute little sweater. I got that and hairspray. And I normally don't wear hairspray, but I'm trying to do different things with my hair. And then I took my daughter home and then I went and got a chocolate dipped ice cream cone from Dairy Queen. I deserved it. I ate it and came in the house and sat here with my head in my hands on my computer desk, feeling frustrated. And I am so tired. I don't know if you could tell in my face, 
but I'm freaking tired. Something is wrong somewhere. And I wish to God that somebody would take me serious and figure out what's going on. I met my wits in. I do firmly believe I have um, tendinosis, I think is what he said, my surgeon said a long time ago when I had my Achilles because he did my shoulder and then my Achilles and he's like, I bet you have this and I think it was tendinosis. And this shoulder is killing me and both hips are killing me and I'm scared. I cannot have hip surgery living upstairs in an apartment because I have to be in my apartment so I can work from home for a little while until I'm able to go back to work. And so that's bothering me quite a bit. And I'm trying to deal with it. I, I'm in a positive mood, but emotionally I'm like, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm so drained. And I just feel like crying. Because <laughs> I want to feel better. It's been a while. It's been a couple of months. And I just want to feel better. I hope you guys are doing good. Seriously. And I'm sorry. I feel like I just complained through this whole video. I didn't feel like turning any lights on. So I came and sat in front of my window. The, the blinds are open. And messed around on my computer to check my stats on my short videos and stuff and then I thought hey I need to do a video before I conk out and I hope after I edit this I may go to bed it's 3 43 in the afternoon and that's bad it's really bad so on a better note if anybody has any suggestions of what to do about the way I feel being tired, who to see, where to go, what to do. My dentist told me, I think I said in the video yesterday, my dentist told me yesterday that he had to get a release because of my heart condition and that he had to know, find out if it was okay to have the, the teeth done and all. And I wanted to say heart condition because the cardiologist claimed that everything was fine. And I said, my PAC and PVC. And he said, yeah. And then I didn't want to push. I didn't want to like put him in the middle. So I assumed that it was either that condition or he noticed that there was something else. I don't know. I am really confused. But whatever is going on for my heart, I feel is related to my tiredness. And I really hate talking to you guys about this all the time. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I just, I don't have anybody to talk to. I mean, I have my kids, but on this subject, it's like talking to a brick wall because they don't know. They don't know what to do or say. That's my life. I'm getting used to my teeth being gone and I've smiled as big as I could and you can't see a hole or a gap, which is good. But I kind of rubbed my tongue back there a couple of times today and I'm like, dang, I'm going to be very limited on chewing on this side and what I will be chewing. And that really just bothers me. And I hope my YouTube takes off where I can afford a partial because I feel like I need one. I'm not sure. I feel like a redneck or hillbilly. Hillbilly is more like it. Sorry. Hillbilly because of that. My teeth were moved. And I know my ex-husband is watching this and I hope you're happy in the position you've put me in. Yeah. I will never put myself in that position again, never. There's not one man in the world that's going to ever control me again. And ladies and men, listen. Don't let anybody control you. Don't let anybody say, put it off or Let's wait or anything. If you know it's important to take care of, do it. You don't need permission. Just because you're married doesn't mean you need permission. And I don't know why I felt I needed that. I really just, I don't know. And I regret it a lot. I so regret it. But anyway, nothing much has happened. I did ask my guides or 
star family, whoever comes to check on my body. I don't know who. I asked them to come and check out this area. And if they did, they did not wake me up. So I don't know. I don't think that there's any orbs flying around. If there is, I didn't see any. But I do know that my mood has something to do with the orbs coming. And I'm just beat. I'm so beat. And I'm really sorry this isn't a very happy video. <laughs> I'm just sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow, I really hope to be able to do a better video. I'm going to get up and tell myself, well, when I go to bed tonight, I'm going to tell myself, tomorrow is a new day. It's going to be positive and I'm going to be positive and we're going to enjoy the damn day. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to let you go and I love you guys. I'm going to do probably a couple of shorts as well. Yeah. So I'm ending this video here and I'm sending each and every one of you love, light, and peace. Bye.